Welcome back, devotees. For this past week, I've been an emo on this animal only account, which, as the name suggests, I can only use characters with animal elements. If you remember from the very beginning of the game, in Amber's domain, there were a few heli trolls sitting on top of the platform. And without an animal bow character, I had to climb up on top of the platforms instead of shooting them down like a normal person would. So I spent about two hours practicing and basically failing over and over again until this attempt. Yeah, as soon as I. Sea Eater's head. I can just do this, right? And then. Hello. Hello. I'll do this. No! <laughs> yes, this is why I was emo for the whole week, and I basically rage quit. I know a lot of you guys suggested I should use Faruzang or Wanderer, and even though this was recorded before the banner was out, I still want to challenge myself jumping up, so we'll return to this domain later for the big payoff. Before that, let's get our adventure rank up. To do so, we'll be completing the Dark Knight Heroes quest first. We first stumbled upon Diluc fighting against an Abyss Mage near the gates of Mondstadt. We discovered his Dark Knight Hero identity, and he told us to keep quiet about this. Next, we went to Dawn Winery and met back up with Diluc, and stormed into an Abyss Mage hideout. Diluc joined us again as a trial character, but since we could only use animal characters, we are not allowed to use Diluc, even with his physical attacks. Luckily, there were a lot of slimes to fight, so our Hazel can swirl their elements together, making this domain a cakewalk. At the very end of the domain, we fought against the Hydro Abyss Mage and slowly destroyed its shield with animal element. After that, we interrogated the Abyss Mage and left the domain to report to Huffman about everything. Next, we had to collect some mist flowers, and to collect them, we need Pyro to melt the flowers. People from my Twitch stream told me I could just buy the flowers from Boo Boo Pharmacy, so we just quickly went there to purchase the amount we needed. Best 4,000 Moras ever spent. We returned to Diluc and used those flowers to attract slimes to beat them up. After that, we met back up with Diluc and Huffman in a tavern, and used the same slime bait to attract the slimes to the side gate. We went back to the tavern and let Huffman and the knights deal with the slimes, while Diluc and I dealt with the abyss mages. We quickly got rid of the monsters using our animal characters and returned back to the tavern and completed the quest. We got enough fates for a temple on the standard banner, so we quickly spent them. Okay, give me a fire star right now, aka Jean. Never mind. Alright, can we get animal character please? Sucrose? Sayu? L? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the ever is like just screaming, "Use me, please!" That's why. Oh, come on! <laughs> like these bow characters just keep showing up just so I could use them, I guess. Well, at least Sarah could be used to ascend for some standard fates in the future. In the meantime, I actually ventured into Liyue as well in order to both level up my adventure rank and collect some primo gems. We quickly beat up the first enemies we encountered in Liyue, and got some sweet wanderer funds from the Melolith soldier. Next, we came across this balloon flower, but there was a problem. Since we didn't have any animal bow characters yet, we had to try to reach the balloons with our elemental skills only. It took us a while, but luckily all the balloons were pretty close to us in general, so we were able to pop them all and collected the chest afterwards. We found another flower afterwards, but this time we weren't able to reach it. Like every new account, we will also have to start collecting both the animal and the geo oculi to level up the statue of the seven for both of the nations in order to get primo gems. And more importantly, stamina, since our stamina will run out quickly. Back in Liyue, we started a few world quests as well. First, we invaded the kitchen and cooked some radish veggie soup. We ate together with some strangers and were rewarded with 20 primo gems later. Next, we started the ancient stone tablet world quest and had to search for 5 stone tablets. While doing so, we stumbled upon a ruin containing an exquisite chest that was locked behind some torches. Luckily, we were able to infuse ourselves with pyro to light up the torches. We just repeated this 4 times to light up all of these torches and were able to unlock the chest. In the meantime, we also discovered all of the stone tablets as well and reported back to Soraya. After that, we needed to search for 2 more stone tablets, so on our way to our first one, we collected a Geo Oculus. We got ambushed by a Fatui mage near the first tablet and were able to engage in a combat against her. When she used her elemental burst attack, I ran as fast as possible but I got curious so I investigated whatever listing was and got stuck. 
So you can say I was shocked because of that since I didn't move for a few seconds. But I was able to defeat a Fatui mage soon after. On the way to the second stone tablet, I unlocked another statue of a 7 and upgraded our statue with a Geo Oculus we collected. There was this dude sitting so we fed him some chicken and got ourselves 20 primo gems for the trouble. Before we found the last stone tablet, we had to engage in a fight with some enemies. The Hydro Abyss Mage was pretty easily disposed of and we collected a chest and discovered the stone tablet afterwards. Next we had to search for 4 strange jade plates in order to discover some hidden treasure. The first one was guarded by these cute balloon slimes, but since we are animal just like them, I decided to leave them alone and flee the battle. I quickly discovered the second third and fourth plates and headed towards the final ruin. There were three ruin guards protecting the treasure, so we had to defeat them first before we could solve this puzzle. Luckily, it was raining as well, so we were able to swirl Hydro while we fought, making this fight way easier. After defeating all of the ruin guards, we could finally activate the mechanism and drain the water, which leads us to three chests and some primo gems. We reported back to Soraya and completed this world quest and got 50 primo gems as a reward as well. Next, I decided to head back to Mon and try this domain for a Shrine of Depths key along with rewards like 40 Primo Gems and 400 Adventure EXP. So as I headed into the domain, I was greeted with this. Well, if anyone knows where I can just drag an Electro Slimes here in this domain to infuse myself with Electro, then let me know because you will be my savior for the 40 Primo Gems. But in all seriousness, does anyone know how to solve this puzzle without an Electro character? So to let loose, we went to the nearest ley line to beat up some enemies and collect some of the EXP books for leveling up our characters. Speaking of near impossible domains, let's go back to the amber domain. But this time, we have the experience from struggling for over 2 hours in this domain. <laughs> So hopefully, we'll be able to complete this domain. Last video, a lot of you guys commented on different ways that I could complete this domain. Like, I could just use Traveler and Hazel's Bursts. And also saying that I could bait Helichos arrows into the barrel and make them explode. But here are the reasons why I didn't. First of all, I tried using Traveler's Bursts. But I probably aimed it wrong since I exploded myself on a barrel and only got one Helichro off the platform. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Voti, that's just skill issues. L, aim better. Alright, I'll show you again. Let's time I did aim better with Traveler's Burst. I mean, I could try like this. Maybe I can be able to hit two. Alright, one. One fell down. Oh, the other one died as well. Hello. Huh? I think Hazel could probably do it. I think Hazel could probably just hit, hit him down, actually. Right? Wait! Yeah. There's more! <laughs> Yeah, that's the second wave of heli trolls that will spawn. And on top of that, I can't blow up the barrels anymore since I already did so the first time, so... Yeah, I gotta climb up. So we entered the domain again and had to start from the beginning. We did this jump and we punched the Helicho down to the abyss. So now we enter the room of doom. Hopefully we won't taste the same amount of pain and suffering as we remembered. So jump up. Jump up again. Stop sliding. Zoom in. No! Alright, this will be hard. Okay, so zoom in, walk on the rocks, after you see Ether's head, I can start, okay, I can get to run and then I just, okay, how did I do this again? I thought I got a hang of it, but like apparently not. I like how you guys are as used to it as me as well, because you guys watched me suffer for like two hours last time. Uh, stop. Okay, I need to slow down a bit. I don't want to be in a hurry. As I said that, I just... Okay. It's taking me a while to refresh my memory since after I rage quit last time. It's been like a few days, so hopefully it will slowly come back to me. What? What? H how? I honestly thought that since I made it up the last time, this time will be easier. But as easy as this looks... Trust me, it's not. Especially with the Helicho shooting arrows at you. With some more failed attempts, this finally happened. Ow. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get up there. I'm running out of my heels, so it's getting a bit painful. Okay. I'm still vibing. Ow, I'm stuck! Oh, never mind. Okay, I think this is a good range. Okay, okay, I got up, I got up. Hello. 
It's gonna not die. Okay, okay. So last time when I finally jumped up, I immediately made a mistake that costed me everything. No! So this time I decided to go with a different approach and just push the helichos down without touching them. Get down! Stop! Okay, one is down. No! Oh, they don't explode the barrels, actually. Going back to the comment from earlier, the Helichos arrow doesn't blow up a barrel, so I couldn't force them to hit the barrel to blow themselves up. Anyways, this happened. I gotta jump up a barrel, though. So, like this. Aussie, teach me! Help! Oh, no! Okay, like this, right? And then I just dash jump or something with Traveler? Uh, no! Since I dashed, but somehow the jump didn't register, so I'm back to square one again. At least we get to beat up one of these helichos that have been sniping at us all this time. Okay. No worries, I can go back up again since the barrels are not destroyed yet. This is like peak Genshin. Alright. So... No! <laughs> I jumped up, I pressed like W or something, so I just over jumped. <laughs> I was about to jump and I got shot down. Yeah, this is why I beat up the Hedy Chow Archers. I thought I got a hang of this, but like I jumped up once and then sadly I fell down. Okay. No, I, I sprinted. I shouldn't have sprinted. Don't think you can use gadgets? No! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and craft some chickens. I was like, I'm dying! Uh, what was I doing wrong, though? Okay, I'm lined up here. <laughs> like, I keep jumping over this. I kept on making the same mistakes and messing up, so I decided to change to Hazel, because why not? Maybe this is the change we need to finally complete this domain. And sure enough, it worked. Okay. Let me try Hazel jump. Okay, Hazel can jump up as well, so that's good. Ow. Stop! Yeah, what he said. Okay. Maybe Hazel has secret powers. Okay. If I don't jump up, then I'm leaving. Uh. Uh. Okay. Get down. Okay, <laughs> got him down. <laughs> Finally, okay. Now the second wave was spawn. Okay, second wave. After defeating the three initial helichos, another three spawned up there. So we'll have to do this all over again. Before we attempt again, we'll destroy the barrel and get the cryo helicho down since we wouldn't need that specific barrel for the jump. But the unexpected happened. Let me just explode this one. Cause this one is kinda annoying. Wait! No! <laughs> well, we'll have to do this the hard way now. I immediately regretted not killing that cryo helicho because I kept on getting super conducted by them. I'll try Hazel again then, but I'm just afraid I'll die. Like... The super conduct reaction... Hurts. With 3 hours of jumping in this domain now under my belt, even though I was on red HP and running out of food, I was able to do this. If I die then... I can't move! Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I was, so I was so scared of the arrows that I just fell. The helichos were just too intimidating, so I couldn't make that jump. Hope my traveler don't die though. Oh, okay, okay. No! Have I <laughs> oh, never mind. One of them fell down. I might just die and then re respawn. I think I can still do that. Even though the Helichos came down by itself, I couldn't kill it because both of my animal characters were dead. So I decided to die and respawn back. But unknowingly, that was a mistake. 
but luckily wait how did you get up there i thought you came down with a bit of feeling no okay never mind hello set fan welcome back <laughs> all right sorry for shouting yep that was too close no after I respawn again, this Helucho just slipped down again. Oh, you just made a wrong choice. So I was actually lucky this time. I made it up here with Hazel though. So maybe Hazel has a special power that he can do. I just want to get up there one more time. Give me a chance. Nope. <sighs> then everything clicked and we finally made the jump again. Okay. I line up like this. Yes. Okay, get down. Get down. Down. Okay. Good. One more and I win, right? Okay. Die. Okay. Did I, did I get it? If there's this third one and I swear- Okay, this is none anymore, okay. We finally did it! We were finally able to complete this domain after beating Raptor and his goons. And the feeling was honestly very satisfying, with 3 hours of misery and failed attempts finally paying off. So after completing this domain, we went to the cathedral and finally got our gliding license from Amber. So yeah, don't tell the Knights of Favonius that we've been gliding around illegally. For some reason, my Hazel's feet is looking weird. It might be because he got too tired or something from all those jumping. But yeah, I pretty much broke my ankle. For those of you that are probably wondering why I didn't just pull for a Faruzan and Wanderer for that specific domain, it was because all of those attempts were done back in 3.2, so the banner wasn't out yet. But now, it's time to pull. Pull, oh, okay, okay. Chill. Let's get a Wanderer? I don't see... I doubt I'll get him in 6,000 pulls, or like Primos. Oh, wait. Okay, I guess that works. Not far as on, but we got Sucrose. So we got our third teammate. My second tempo, I got Yenfei. And my 30th pull, I got an Eye of Perception. Which is fine, since we have two Catalyst users now. Our very next tempo got Yenfei again, so that wasn't really good. Good thing that I had emergency primo gems that I could use to pull more. So I claimed my mailbox and got around another 20 pulls worth of primo gems. Another Catalyst? Okay. No flowers on though? I'm only getting one 4 star each tempo, so not the best pulling session. By exchanging the intertwined fates in the Stardust shop, we were able to scavenge another temple, which this time will be our 60th pole. This pole gave us another Yenfei, and our very first Faruzan, so we finally have a full roster of 4 animal characters now. We need around 15 more poles to finally reach Soft Pity, and we have around 2 weeks to get Wanderer. But here's a sneak peek for you guys for the next video. Pole? Let's get our Chi Chi. Chi Chi! Yes! Give me Chi Chi! Gene. Sorry about this cliffhanger. You guys will have to wait another week to find out who I get. Or you can come join me and watch me stream this series live on Twitch. So follow me there to get notifications. But now I have a question for you guys. If I lose a 50-50, should I swipe to get Wanderer or rush the content to collect as many Primo Gems as fast as possible? Make sure to leave any of these suggestions down in the comments below and I'll pick a few of your comments to feature for the next video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on the next video and we'll see you in the next one.